kitty. What gives? I got videos to make. Taking my chair? Oh, Jesus. Thanks a lot. Howdy folks, here I am again, K-A-0-C-L-G. Okay, now it's time for W-S-T-J-X, W-J-X, whatever it is. Let's get that going now, okay? Okay, let's do it. Just kidding, W-S-J-T-X, time to load it. Okay, so, we did this one already, the FL Digi. Neat. Let's go ahead and plug this baby in, boot this computer up, and load it. Okay? Bam. Let's go. Okay, folks. Here we are, back again, for another thrilling episode. So now we're going to do the WSJT-X, load that software, and get it to work, and we're also going to set... Um, the parameters, whatever I got to do on the radio, and save settings to keep that separate from the FL Digi. Here we go, WSJTX. Let's do it. So I'm going to try the same thing I did last time, and that is basically just add program here, and it's going to be add remove software. Brings up the dialog box and. W S J T and dash X enter. Let's see what happens. Bang. Let's load it. I do believe the last time I did this. I selected this one. And let's go ahead and hit OK. Password? We don't need no stinking password. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Password has been. In. Let's hit OK and see what gives. What happens? Is it going to load? Is it going to load, ladies and gentlemen? Is it going to load? Let's take a look. It's going to be under Pi Sound and Video. There it is, WSJTX. Once again. So let's install it. Well, I mean, it's installed. Let's open it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if it loads. And it loads. Okay, now let's get the radio configured to run this stuff. Okay. Okay, before we get this um, set up, I'm going to return the radio back to a fresh build once again. So let's do that again. So we're going to just go ahead and reload uh, the firmware update. Redo it again. Yes, yes, yes. And one four one. Because all the settings I did for um, FL Digi are still um, set. I was just basically changing that CIV connection. So now we're back to normal. And I'm going to save this particular setting. I'm going to save this one. SD card. I'm going to go. Save setting, new file, and I'm going to call this normal. Save. Save. And if we go back and take a look at some of these other settings, let's do it again. CID. Sorry. Boom, boom. Connectors, CIV. Ooh. Well, let's leave it linked to remote. Uh, let's see what that does. I think that's going to be okay. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Okay, let's get 
WSJTX to work. So I've got the call sign KA0CLG and my grid square is EN34KX. That I got from my QRZ page. And I forgot where I get the grid. I don't know if they automatically put that in based on your latitude and longitude, but uh, there it is, EN34KX. So we got that in there. Next! Uh, and before we go any further, let's go ahead and do this. Menu, number two, preset, FT8, yes, bam, got that one. Next setting will be, once again, menu, set, connectors, data mod, make sure that's on mic ACC. Couple more settings in connectors. Where is it? Okay, baud rate. Uh, I'm gonna set that to mm, let's see, 9600. And let's page down one more. And go to CIV USB echo back and turn that on. And I think that's it. And here's another one in the function. Click that. Go down to tuner. PTT start on. Bam. Okay, got it to work. Um, those settings on the radio. I don't know if they're necessary, but I was watching a video of a guy that did all that and I did it and it worked. So what I had to also do, uh, you realize this, I had to also install, where is it? Uh, where is it? Here it is. FL rig. Uh, FL rig and configure it to, um, to work with the 7300 just like I did before. And then some of the settings under file settings. Whoops. Oh, I just killed it. <laughs> oh. Hold on, folks. Okay, we're back up and running. And it worked no problem. It just kicked right in when I restarted the program. Um, just wanted to show you the settings real quick. File. Settings. Uh, and radio. KA0CLG. My grid square. This might not be right, but anyway. Um, radio 7300, the FL rig set up this uh, serial port DEV TTY USB 0, baud rate 9600, I got CAT and USB and I did a test CAT, works, the test PTT, that works, so we're all good, uh, I might play with the baud rate and also with the AGC it's suggested to have that to medium, but I might mess with that and try putting that on fast. I don't know if that makes this waterfall run a little faster. It's pretty slow, but it does work, and uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, pretty happy now that I've got these two builds working, and I can run these independent FL Digi and WSJTX. And finally, we're going to save these settings. SD card, save setting, new file. I'm going to call this WSTJX. We'll s Ooh. Save it. Hit enter. Save it. Yes. And there we go. So now we have FL Digi normal WSTJX, and we're good. So we're all set up. Everything is good. And now I can learn how to use this little piece of software. This is going to be fun. So that's it, folks. Uh, I've got this load to work. Um, my little system here of FL Digi WSJX X. Uh, I'm going to try this out for a little while now and see what I think. Uh, possibly the next video we'll try to do uh, separate profiles with one uh, with one software load and see if we can get that to work later. Right now, we're all up and running, and I hope you found this informative. I was confused half the time, but I think we are on the way. And again, remember, 
Don't ever quit. This stuff isn't that hard. You just got to keep playing and playing and dinking around till it works. 73 from CLGWSJT-X Completo.